Alrighty, so we're back. It's the next day. White boy's working fast, huh? Engine is mounted, baby. So, no more jack underneath required for now. But yeah, so the engine's all mounted up. It's not going anywhere. I do need to tighten the back mount and fix that for a bit. I've got the front mount tightened up, but I just need to figure out what actual bolt goes in that because it's suspension bolt to hold it straight. But this mount and this mount, which is the most important at this point, are tightened up and done. So I'll fix that and that's that. But we're getting there. Alrighty, I've done some buttoning up, which I will go through in the next section of this video. But before that, uh, the brake light switch is fucked. But we're going to test fire it and see if it starts. Hopefully. Fingers crossed. Six and a half hours later.
see if it'll start again. I suppose, got it round, so 5 out of 10 stars, 10 out of 10 start your bastard in large cans, can't live without it. Something's gummed up though I reckon. another day and we've made progress which is like super good so you would have just seen me got it running uh, it now is timed somewhat uh, we don't have a vacuum advance because that's broken um, it's all bled out the thermo fan works perfectly which is super annoying because someone wired this random piece of carnage in. Uh, we still need to make some sort of clutch cable. Um, still got some little fixes to do. Um, and I will show you those. And part of the wiring and stuff, because I don't think it's sort of, it's documented, but it's not well documented. In my opinion, there's no real like, here, here's how you do it. Because it's pretty common. And also there's a shit ton of these in auto. So that's really, Mm, not about it but yeah we fixed up a heap of um, fuel leaks and stuff so as you can see sorry I'm on the DSLR again so pan hours um, this smaller hose underneath here which is the feed line we fixed the fuel leak in that uh, the heat hoses right behind that with like shagged both of them were shagged so we repaired that Ricky bolted that back up Shouts to Ricky for all his help. Um, but yeah, I've done most of it. Most of it is done. Clutch cable. Uh, what else do I need? Let me think. Uh, clutch cable. I got a few things to do inside. I got to put the dash back together, which is like, is what it is really. Um, 
Yeah, and it's just a bit of linkage mounting, um, just because because it's two linkages like this. When you when you put it in gear, it still just flaps around like a dick in a sleeve. So yeah, uh, maybe not your dick. Maybe you're a huge dick. I don't know. Dick in a sleeve. It's loose. So yeah, that's where we're at. But it's almost done. And then we get to give it a new name and return it to its owner hopefully at some point. So yeah. Uh, but yeah, next video you'll see is the last few buttoning up pieces on this and then we do some drive shafts on Tony's car. So they're done. And then I think we're back to the super for a little bit, which will be all right. And then we're gonna get Paddy Dubs right. We're gonna sort him out. We're gonna do one of his cars. So yeah. In the meantime, I uh, like, comment, subscribe, send to your friends, bully us on the internet. I don't know, whatever. But uh, you yeah, have a good night. Peace.